Welcome to the PM Podcast. I'm Aaron. This is Blake. How you doing? And today on the PM Podcast, we are going down the rabbit hole. Um, we've done this before where me and Blake just sit down, talk, chat it up, have a good time, and uh, play some guitar and make up some shit. So it's a lot of fun. Sounds good. Are you excited? Always excited. I'm excited. You excited? Because I'm excited. I'm excited. Remember the last time we made I Oh, jeez. I don't remember. Uh, what we, What was it? Was it for the sixty nine episodes or was it the uh, yeah, or was 69. it no or was it the t- t- tomato? Oh tomato! Oh tomato! Remember? Oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember. It's like a. Oh tomato! Oh tomato! <laughs> remember? No. You were talking about the pickle and how the pickle had a. How the how his parents were like pickles, and he was oh. a, and he was a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> when I want cheese. Or we can write one of the songs we've actually written that might 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 be in an album soon, which would be really cool. Really? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I haven't decided yet, but if I if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it with you, and we're gonna like rec- we're gonna harmonize and shit. I think. Okay. I think. I don't know. What do you think? I'd be down for that. I'm always down for some harmonizing. It's true. Harmonizing is fun. You I know mean, what I'm... we used to do when we were drunk all the time. It's true. That is true. Um, but you know what my favorite song is? One of my favorite things to do? What? It's almost the end of summer, right? So we're coming to a close on summer. And it wouldn't be... <laughs> Did you just fart audibly on camera? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that was so loud. It was like it was like it was like burnt. <laughs> I'm really gassing Apparently okay. I am. Come on. Oops. He. <laughs> what the hell? There we go. Summer times have come and gone. We were always standing here. <laughs> Show me how to beat the heat, and we spent some time in the sand. People laughed and pointed, saying you were not the girl for me. Ah oh, shit! I messed it up. <clears throat> I can't hear what I'm singing. La 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 la. There we go. Summer times have come and gone, we were always hand in hand. She showed me how to beat the heat, and we spent some time in the sand. People left and pointed, saying you were not the girl for me. But baby, when I look at you, I'd think I'd have to disagree. Popsicle time. I'll eat you slowly Slurp your juices, lick your stick Until there's nothing left, won't you be mine Popsicle time Be forever The juices that you give me is arrested I can always seem to find <laughs> Yeah, she's always sweet to me But sometimes she's a little cold And towards the end of the summer She's tasting a little old That's when I thought to myself I wonder where she's been Maybe it's time I just move on And I try some time with her twin Popsicle time I'll eat you slowly Slip your juices, lick your stick Until there's nothing left, won't you be mine Forever, the sugar that you give me is a rush that I can always seem to find. Popsicle, popsicle time. Popsicle, <laughs> popsicle time. Popsicle time. Popsicle time. Now that summer's over, 
I've grown up quite a bit. I moved on to more summer treats. Yeah, Dippin' Dots is pretty lit. Maybe I'll have a slushy or something a la mode. But you, my little icy treat, keeps bringing me back for more popsicle time. Be sweet forever. What happened? Well, that sucked. Yeah, monitor on, and it's still recording. Uh, we just got cut off in the middle of a song, so uh, we're sorry for that. A little brief interruption in the show. <laughs> um, we just got cut off in the middle of the show. Uh, pops, the good time. <laughs> All right, someone in the crew, give us a topic. Oh my. Donuts. Donuts. Wasted summer. Wasted summer of donuts. Oh, I don't know. I was just saying that. Ready? Do that. Do that like. Ooh, okay. Ready? Yeah, ready? And one, two, three, four. Donut shop, no more donut holes for me to drop down my mouth. I'm so sad, so sad. Went to the bakery the other day, they had no footlongs for my footlong for play. Hey, 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 hey. It get kind of late and it went past ten. I don't have no more donuts for my friend, friend, friend. I need some donuts. Maybe I'll just try dunking. This is my wasted, wasted donut summer. Wasted, wasted donut summer. Today I get down on my knees and pray Tomorrow they'll have some donuts for all me This is my wasted donut summer Because he's wasted The cream field, raspberry, blueberry, chocolate, vanilla. These are all the donuts you can get tomorrow. These are the donuts I want today, but I don't have a donut for me today. I need a 
I come to the bakery tomorrow to say To say it in the 10 a.m. I'm guessing my donuts my way And if not, I guess I'll take whatever they got Donuts Donuts Summer <laughs> uh, we're going to continue going down the rabbit hole and singing some songs with you guys. But first, we want to let you know that the PM podcast, the PM podcast, is supported by Circle City Tent. Circle City Tent sticks it where the sun shines and gives you quality window tent for your car at a low price. They have a full vehicle starting right now for just one sixty nine ninety nine. That's any shade in a lifetime warranty. Do not miss out on this crazy deal. Call 317-788-8468 or go to the website www.circlecitytent.com. Ever have to hate those blistering winters or those really, really cold summers? Well, don't worry. Circle City's got you covered with their Arctic Start remote starts. Keep your car in the perfect climate any time of year. Just now, starting at $249.99, and that is a lifetime warranty on everything. Installation and the parts are included. For more information and appointments, give them a call 317-788-8468 or go to the website www.circlecitytent.com. That's 317-788-8468. Now back to the PM Podcast. All right. I did pretty good with that one. <laughs> You're getting a lot better at that. I, it, it's, it's getting easier. It's getting easier the more we do it, um, which we do thank Circle City for sponsoring the PM podcast and the, and the Potty Mouth show. It's awesome. We get to do what we do, and we love what we do. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, should we make another song up? You want to sing one this time? You, you want to sing one and want to put it my way? Oh, shoot. Uh, should, we go up, should we go up an octave? I don't know what I would sing. I really All right, draw them blanks. Give us a topic, guys. What are you guys talking about over there? Oh, oh nothing. Yeah, you're talking about something. About rooming. About what? Rooms. About rooms? No, oh. Anyway. The red rooms. Elgato. The red room. Um, what? Give us a topic, anybody. Elgato. Killer wasps. Killer wasps? No, thank you. We're going to stay unpolitical on this, on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> give us like a, a word. Alexa. Stop. Light bulbs? Okay, light bulbs. Dude, I have no idea. This sucks. <laughs> okay, here you go. Light bulbs. You want a different tune? Oh, are you, I, are I you just like, can't. I okay, just can't even think of anything you right now. You got this. You made up the whole... You, I can give you a different one. Dude, I'm just trying to think of what to even talk about with a light bulb. We can do a story. You're good at those. A story? Yeah, a story about a light bulb. Oh my gosh. There once was a light bulb who couldn't find his spark. He went to the man himself. Along the Noah's Ark. Help me out here. Where are we at? Something about Noah's Ark. He couldn't find a spark. So he went to the man himself. Along the Noah's Ark. I would agree. Okay. <laughs> We're going to try that one more time. Here we go, guys. Okay, light bulb. Give us a place. Our security system just engaged. If that was wondering which, if you're wondering what that is, his vibrator Sioux just Falls, engaged. Sioux Falls, South Dakota and a light bulb. What? Here we go. Sioux Falls, South Dakota and a light bulb. What's Sioux Falls? It's a town. Oh. City. But here we go. But wait, should I set the mood for you? I'll be the narrator. <clears throat> I'll set you up a storyline. Here we go. A cold night. 
the fog just creeping over the mountains. A young man sits in his house with one lonely light bulb. He looks at the light bulb and starts thinking to himself. This is his story. I sat down one night trying to read my book. I go to flip the switch, but there was nowhere to look. I searched around and come to find out my lamp never had a light bulb in it. Strange, I know. But as he wandered around in the dark, he remembered, oh yes, I did have another light bulb. So he went to the pantry. I don't know why a light bulb was in the pantry, but it is. And he went there to grab it. He tried to open the box. For some reason it was childproof. So as much as he tried, and he tried, he couldn't get that box open. And finally, he decided he would throw that light bulb. And lo and behold, when he threw that light bulb, the box opened. So when he finally found the light bulb on the ground, two hours later, he screwed the light bulb in, <laughs> then found the switch. When he flipped that switch, it turned on, and he was so happy. He got back on his chair. Come to find out, he can't find his book. <laughs> so he started searching for his book. Come to find out, he was sitting on it the whole time <laughs> and couldn't wonder why. It could have been that the light bulb was just not bright enough. Come to find out, he had broke that light bulb when he threw it. It was very unfortunate for him. And so instead of that lonely light bulb without even a flicker, he decided to go candlelight. And then he burned his house down. That poor guy with his one light bulb. But it's okay. He got out safely with his book. But the rest is up in flames. <laughs> Later that day, the young boy was charged with arson for burning his house down. All because he couldn't find a light bulb. He's still in there today. And if you ask him what book he's reading, you know what he'll say. Oh, that fucking light bulb. Why, you light bulb? Shouldn't have used that candle and just gone to bed. Shouldn't have read that book. I don't know what. To do. Instead. <laughs> that was <one>. horrible. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. All right, I think we got time for one more. One more good one, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap it up. Hmm. You want you want to do a story? Story time. Story time with Aaron. Sandwich. What? Sing about a peanut butter sandwich. A peanut butter sandwich? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. Okay. That's fine. 
Uh, go check. Should be, or if it's, if it's orange, it's on. We have a lot of people showing up here at the studio tonight. <laughs> it is late. We do have a kind of a full house tonight. So, um, cause we are going to be working late into the night, getting all this done. So we have some people coming over, but, um, one more story time. And then I think we'll wrap this podcast up. This little bad boy, this little, hmm, this little something, something, you know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> so, uh, Oh, we can do a song. We can do a song and then a story. Do you want? To, I think you're you're good at stories. I like you. I like you talking about the stories. And it's like all like bluesy and shit. Like, you know what I mean? It's all like, why? <laughs> it's super sophisticated. See, and hello everybody. Welcome to the studio. Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> Okay, anyway. Anywho. Do they know where they're going? Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. So, <clears throat> anyway, story time. Story time. Give us a topic. What did you say? You said peanut butter sandwiches? Mm-hmm. All right. How about the peanut butter that can't find his jelly? No, that's what your story's about this week. Yeah, go ahead. I want to see what you want. All right. Peanut butter that Let's can't find his jelly. You ready? It's on you. I'll tag in with you. Oh God! Am I setting the? Am I setting the scene? Am I setting the mood? Are you? Because I want you to take it off. Take it away. Oh jeez. Should we do like something happy? Or should we keep it like mellow? Like. I keep it mellow. Gives me time to think. Okay. Just, just being honest. Okay, I don't know. Hold on. No, What's that's, the story that's what one? I, what I just, peanut butter that lost his jelly. Peanut butter that lost his jelly. No, I don't like that either. Okay, hold on. I got it. I, I, I found it. I, I think about it. I'm just gonna stick with this. You go for it. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Three, two, one, and. There once was a man. His name was Peanut Butter. (laughs) He wasn't the smartest slice in the batch, but he did. Spread it very well. And one day, he found a girl named Jelly. He said to himself, I'm going to marry that Jelly one day. (laughs) And so he went to approach her one day in class. They were in college, by the way. And he said to her, Hey, Jelly. Can I spread you over a piece of bread? (laughs) She looked at him with an... (laughs) She looked at him with wide eyes and an awe said no one's ever spoke to me that way before (gasps) and because of that you can spread me anyway (laughs) (laughs) so they went on a date Applebee's in fact of course but come to find out 
They didn't have what they were wanting. All they were wanting was their PB and J. <laughs> so they left Applebee's that day. Night. <laughs> and they went back to his place. And they spread that peanut butter and that jelly. <laughs> Just like he said he was going to. And they ate those sandwiches <laughs> with nothing to drink. <laughs> <laughs> all right get to the point where she loses him oh, that's he loses exactly him. where i was getting to okay here we go so he woke up the next morning leaned over to give her a kiss and she wasn't even there <gasps> he searched all around the apartment but jelly is nowhere to be found All was left was a little bit of crumbs <laughs> by the doorstep. <laughs> so the next day he went into class where Jelly was supposed to be. <laughs> but for some reason, she never came back to class. Turns out she transferred to another college. <laughs> And he never, ever knew why. The only thing he can think of is, dang it, I should have had a glass of milk. <laughs> With that beauty. <laughs> and that's the story of Mr. Peanut Butter, who lost Jelly. That'll be it for this episode of the PM Podcast. Guys, if you like this little sing-along stuff that we do, let us know and we'll uh, we'll do it again. So let us know in the comments below. If you guys like this episode of the PM Podcast, make sure you like and subscribe wherever you get your podcast, iTunes, Spotify, or watch it here on YouTube. If you're watching it here on YouTube, make sure to like this video so we can keep bringing you fun, silly, goofy content like this. With that being said, we love you all and we will see you next time on the PM Podcast. Later, later.